This is Africa's second largest land carnivore. It's probably the most feared and fearless of its scavengers, and the best known, the hyena. This spotted predator is most famous for its spooky calls and manic cackles. It's the animal that's been linked for centuries with Africa's witches and wizards, a cruncher of bones, not quite dog, not quite cat. It's Africa's arch opportunist. There was once a time when food was scarce. All the animals gathered anxiously together. They didn't know what to do. So they decided to ask their king, the lion. The lion said that Ngai of the Great Sky was punishing them for ingratitude. If they thanked him before each meal, they'd have food in plenty. But hyena scoffed at this. On his way home, he saw an impala. His mouth watered. Ignoring the king's words, he pursued it without a thought for Ngai. But Ngai saw. He made the impala swift and strong. She raced ahead of insolent hyena, led him on a wild goose chase until he was quite worn out. King Lion was furious at hyena's stupidity, but that made no difference to hyena. He hunted on regardless, and in the morning, ravenous and exhausted, he was forced to rest. On looking round, he noticed that all the animals who remembered to thank Ngai grew fatter and fatter. The zebra certainly did, and the buffalo, and all the antelopes, small and large. But he just grew hungrier and leaner with every day. Perhaps he thought he should do like them, thank Ngai. So now when you hear hyena call in the night, you know he's thanking Ngai before he has his meal. The spotted hyena of that story is the animal everyone knows. But there are others. The brown hyena resembles a long-haired rug on four legs. It has the hyena's typically dog-like face. And its sense of smell and hearing are also as well-developed as a dog's. Its mane is like a bushy collar. The brown hyena can fluff it out aggressively, make itself look almost twice as big as it really is. It can do the same with its shaggy coat. Like the rest of its family, the brown hyena has a short, thick, bushy tail it can also fan out. It's an expressive part of its anatomy. The shyest family member is the rare artwolf, twice the size of a fox, a strange carnivore which eats nothing but termites. Its long pink tongue can lap up a quarter of a million a night. Even though termites are soft and squishy, the art wolf still has typical hyena canines and a typical strong hyena stomach, which easily neutralizes the chemicals in its prey. Ears like radar dishes pick up the minute noises termites make, ones completely inaudible to humans. Just like its prey, an art wolf lives underground. The spotted hyena is anything but a loner. It's clannish, noisy and outgoing. An adult can weigh as much as a grown man and stand nearly a meter at the shoulder. Spotted hyenas are built at an angle with sloping shoulders and low slung hindquarters. Their wide skulls anchor super strong throat and jaw muscles, which power one of the world's mightiest bites. It has a phenomenal crushing pressure of 800 kilos per square centimeter. A hyena's spottiness 
is its ID tag. Every animal's pattern is different, unique as a human fingerprint, but harder to define since spots fade with age. A hunter scavenger's life has given the hyena acute senses, so keen they can tell something's wrong with an animal that looks fine to us. This yearling's senses are still being honed, its thick shaggy coat too. That will thin out and get shorter as it gets older. A young cub's furry uniform is almost black, only a few weeks old, yet already getting into the swing of adult life. Early learning includes knowing how to behave around adults and how to tell which is which. Their mother, like all females, has a remarkable external sex organ that resembles a male's. A hyena has such acute senses it can pinpoint disturbance in a distant wildebeest herd, one a human couldn't even see, let alone hear. Satellite dish ears that may help heat loss can capture distant hyena calls well outside the human range. And here are the weapons of an expert killer and scavenger, the teeth that can split an elephant's bones and rip skin and flesh like silk. As they evolved, hyena front legs grew longer and longer to be able to eat up the miles at a steady lope. Ruthless monster, or yet another misunderstood carnivore that's had a bad press. Perhaps a hyena's only fault is to have a face and habits not everyone likes. Like everything else, hyenas are just trying to make a living. If they're linked with the supernatural, maybe it's because they're out at night whooping it up with eerie spine-tingling cackles. But Africa, without this familiar animal we seem to love to hate, would not be the same.